Welcome back, Ray, for 2015. Great Thanks to have you here. Me. Always a pleasure. Now, 2015 is going to be a massive year, especially for games. Yes. Very exciting year for games. It is. Now, you being our resident games guru, we thought we'd get you along to tell us. <laughs> you can do a bit of that if you like. But first, we need you to tell us your most anticipated games of 2015. My top five. Top at five. this very point in time. Exactly right. Starts with Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, yeah. Now, while we were toiling away on Arkham Origins, Rocksteady is back. Mm. They have been working on Batman Arkham Knight. That whole time. The whole time, so it's bound to be glorious. Oh, yes. Also back, mm. Kevin Conroy as Batman. The, the one th true voice of Batman. The only person who should ever be voicing Batman. Absolutely. We've also got Troy Baker as Arkham Knight. Cool. And we have Nolan North as the Penguin. Story-wise, yep. you know, it's kind of set a year after Arkham City. Mm -hmm. So you've got Batman or Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. Recovering nice from the events with yes, the, the Joker. Events. We won't go any further than that. No Play spoilers. The game. Yep. Uh, there's DLC from Harley Quinn. There's cool. DLC with Red Hood, so it gives you a bit story-wise. Mm -hmm. Gadgets. Gadgets with Batman are going in the opposite direction, so they're going with 007 in movies. More He's gadgets. just getting more of them. Gear up. Getting more of them and running all over the place with them, which is amazing. There's yep. new combat moves. He can take down three enemies at once if awesome. you're stealthy. He gets around by gliding more effectively. And the Batmobile. The Batmobile. You can drive the Batmobile. Tooling around Gotham. And it looks like a tank. It does, but a tank that can go sideways and a tank that shoots Batman. No matter what weapon, anything you have shoots, nothing can beat a tank that shoots Batman. Rock, scissors, paper, well I have a tank that shoots Batman. <laughs> that pretty much... Beats everything. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Most definitely. Awesome, good pick. Next on the list mm -hmm. is Uncharted 4, A Thief's <gasps> End. I'm a massive fan of the Uncharted series. Yeah. This one is set a couple of years after Uncharted 3. Mm -hmm. Drake has been dragged out of retirement, kicking and screaming no by the, yeah. the lure of pirate treasure in Madagascar. Well, that'd do it for me. Yeah, yeah. What, what else would get you out of bed in the morning other than Madagascan pirate treasure? Huh? Absolutely. I can't so, think of much. Yeah. <laughs> that pirate booty, it Gotta gets you it. up in the morning. <laughs> so, of course, this is along the trail of Francis Drake, because is there anywhere that he didn't go? He got around a lot. Yeah, <laughs> he really, he was, really did. He's a bit of a globe tracker. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, one of the things that I was a little bit concerned about with this game, actually, was the team mm. kind of dropped out along yeah. the way of the development, which is usually a bit of a red flag, Can but be. they've bought on the game directors from The Last of Us, ah. which was my game of the year for 2013. Yeah, as it was with many others. Yeah. Restored yeah. a lot yeah, of faith. Mm. And I find Naughty Dog a pretty rock solid bet when it comes to games. Yeah, it tends to be. They haven't let me down yet. Mm -hmm. And if there's one thing that they do really well, it's those beautiful cinematic scenes. Absolutely, just those organic cinematic moments that yeah. happen in those games. You're just you're tooling wrong, you're shooting things, all of a sudden something amazingly cool happens, just not in a cutscene, just as part of the game. And yeah. they, they do that so well. They really do. And yeah. they do character so well, and environments, yeah. and the detail, and the, just the gorgeousness of the game in general. Yeah. So Uncharted 4, definitely on my radar. You've got a solid bet there. 2015. Mm. Now, the next one mm -hmm. is a little little bit different. Okay. Until Dawn. Until Dawn. Until Dawn is in my favourite, favourite genre of games. Everything's my favourite today. <laughs> so but yeah, you know, this okay. is my top five favourite. Adventure survival horror. Oh, survival horror I love me. the cringing. I love the cringing. I can't deal with it. It's a classic story. You've got eight teenagers mm -hmm. in a cabin in the woods. I can see where this is going. On the anniversary of a friend's death. Mm -hmm. And there is a serial killer. Awesome. Are you shocked? <laughs> I'm not shocked. I, I kind of, it wasn't completely out of the blue. <laughs> now, one of the interesting things about this game, though, is you can play as as each of the teenagers involved in this game. So okay. it's third person, and it really seems from the footage that we're seeing mm. that they're getting the jump scares and suspense and the environment gotta right. Got to have that, yeah. They've got a couple of really cool indie horror writers on board for it, and they've got some good voice acting too. There's mm. Hayden Penetere involved. Cool. So, yeah, it's it's looking to be pretty interesting. And this one is, uh, this came from a crowdfunding project, yeah, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, which, which actually makes me have a little bit more faith in it. <gasps> I find if something's produced by a big studio backed by a big evil corporation, <laughs> they're, all evil. they're if more like 
else. They're more likely <laughs> to kind of rush through things and mm. not really have the care and attention to detail. I can see that. This is more likely to be a passion project, something Absolutely. people really care about. And when you've yeah. got that fan base that feels like they own a part of it, sure. I feel They're like it's, have demands. it's going to push you that little bit further to, mm. to make them happy. That makes so, sense. So, yeah. It's a bit different. She'll be good. Yeah. Now, No Man's Sky, mm -hmm. it's not just an open world game, it's an open universe That's game. ambitious. If you can see it, you can go to it. You're exploring absolutely everything. You're going to different worlds, you're seeing different species. <laughs> you're vulnerable on these planets Good, because well. you need some conflict. Anyone that has read Ready Player One, this mm -hmm. is what I imagine the Oasis to be. <laughs> so when you're going around to these different worlds, yeah. because you are vulnerable, because you need to have to work out how to survive. You're collecting resources, you're building ships, you're building up your suits. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of an MMO-esque sort of style cool. of game. So you're going to be tooling around with us, other people. Yeah, but yeah. It seems like you're going to have a lot of space to do that. So there is fun. a lot of space <laughs> in No Man's Sky. Uh, the, the gameplay that we're seeing coming out of it is just stunning. Okay. It is gorgeous. It's one of those games where it could go either way. Mm. This could be incredible, and we could all be talking about this for, for years yeah, to come. And this could be one of those defining games. Or it could be an overhyped massive failure. Yeah. Either way. <laughs> you don't want those those overpromise under deliver. That can happen. Absolutely. But hopefully that will not be the case here. Fingers crossed. Mm. Fingers crossed that does not happen. Yeah. But next up mm -hmm. in my top five is the rise of the Tomb Raider. Yes! I don't know why this is appropriate, but no, somehow it, it is. It absolutely is. You're rising. Now, this is the sequel to the reboot, which was enormously popular yeah. and one of my favourite games out of 2013. Oh, yeah, if The definitely. Last of Us didn't come out, it yeah. would have been Tomb Raider. Fair enough, too. For me, yeah, hands, amazing game. Hands down. Yeah. I, I loved the story with Lara there. I loved yep. the vulnerability and the character development and everything. Great with slow burn build yep. of a character done so well. And yeah. not only was it beautifully detailed, you mm -hmm. know, you ramp those PC specs right up and you just <laughs> watch the the wind flowing through her hair. You can almost feel it on your face. It was and just then gorgeous. You shoot somebody with a bow and arrow. The combat was fantastic. It, it was, was great. great. Yeah. So building on that is mm -hmm. a good thing. Yeah. And it's gonna be a good thing, right? It has to be. It has to be a good thing. <laughs> and the thing that they're focusing on more this time because mm -hmm. they're listening to fans, which is a good sign, yep. more tombs. Because that was the main criticism, wasn't it, on the previous one, the reboot? It's, I mean, everything else was cool, but the tombs, they weren't really tombs, they were, they were, they were rooms. They were rooms. She was a room raider. Less um, rooms. She would just go into a tombs. room, throw some things on another thing, climb yep. up a thing, and then climb leave. Climb up a thing, yeah. 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 And that was a bit of a letdown. But if they can get that right and mm. keep everything else as good as it was in the first one, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah. Well, that's what we're hoping to see. So that is why it made my top five most anticipated games for this year. And God knows she didn't want to just stop at the five. No, um, was... they made me narrow it down to five. <laughs> I think, well, you started at 20. Evil. We had to chop it down. We only have a certain amount of time. But look, thank you for coming <laughs> in. Those are some excellent games to be looking forward to. It's going to be a great year for games. And I'm sure we'll probably have you in again when some more crop up and you go, no, I need to do it again. Yeah. There's a whole new list of five now. This is totally subject to change. <laughs> I'm going to come back in in a month or so. God, I've, I've got five more. We won't even invite her next time. She'll just bust straight in. <laughs> I'll go, guys, I'm doing a segment.